How many guys do you think he has in 2023? Oh my god, probably like 250. What's going on guys, Shy Clips here once again, and today's some crazy clips of the worst couples I can find. And like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is pretty insane. Apparently this girl got $3,000 spent on her on the first date. Has spent on you in one night. Uh, $3,000. $3,000. Yes. Okay, hold on. It's because we went to a club and he bought, like, a lot of bottles of champagne. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that one. Oh, uh, Wait, there's multiple? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Now, did you guys just hear that? Apparently, it was a totally other different person who did this. So you're telling me a bunch of guys are randomly just throwing around this amount of money on her and they still weren't able to pull her? How does that make any sense? For the night that she cheated on me. I knew it before it happened. I woke up in the middle of the night and I just, I felt my chest just like getting. And I, I just knew something bad was happening. The next day I woke up, I didn't, I couldn't get a hold of her. And I spent the whole day trying to figure out what was happening. And I got a photo message in my Instagram from what, someone that followed me of a picture of her with some other guy. And then I, I knew and I had the picture and I, I messaged her again and I said, hey, yeah, I got this picture. Yeah. Now's a really good time to be honest with me. And she said, she said, I met, I met Cameron. And I was like, who the f is Cameron? And she's like, Cameron Dallas. It, it hurt like hell. But the next day, she deletes all our photos that we'd ever posted together on social media, just wiped the grid clean and posts one new photo of her and this guy. What? On day one? On day one. Oh, and my it was God. a, it was a, Getty Images paparazzi photo. You know what the worst part about the whole thing was? What? I got back with her. <sighs> now, I can't lie. In the beginning of the story, I genuinely felt bad for him. I'm like, damn, this guy is going through it. I can't see him ever going back to this. But he still did. And it boggles my mind how some people really do that. Obviously, he learned his lesson now. But if you are going through a heartbreak currently and your girl did you so bad, I genuinely hope you never go back to that. Because you will look just as stupid as this guy did. <laughs> Now, why do people like this guy to ruin pretty much everything? It's a gender reveal. It's supposed to be super nice and family oriented. Why are you treating it like a strip club? What does this have to do with the baby? This girl is for the streets and I feel bad for the father. And to be honest, the baby. Guys, I can't believe what just happened. This girl, this I don't want to put her on blast, but this girl took me out to the restaurant and now she's telling me after we ordered, she ain't got enough money. I'm shaking like, why, why would you waste my time? Why would I'm you not... why would you bring me out? My time is actually valuable. Yeah, but you didn't you... No, 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 no. No. It's not how this works, guys. I can't actually believe it. Like, if you're not in a position to date, don't be dating. Work on yourself first. I have money though. Oh, you have money? Yeah. Do you have enough? Cuz I I I don't do 50/50. I don't know how much it but is. Other guys are willing to do 50/50. I'm not doing no 50/50. So can you pay this girl yes or no? I don't know how much it is. I don't know if I have Absolutely enough. Absolutely shocking. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna get someone to come pick me up. Now obviously this guy is just being sarcastic and he's trying to expose a double standard that men deal with every single time with dating because this is exactly how foolish and crazy sometimes women sound when they realize that they actually have to pay their part of the meal, their own food, what they're eating. The trend is called a soft guy era and to be honest, I love it. He exposed how much it sounds like a manipulation tactic and to be honest, it is. Why would I help a man get on his feet? If there are men who are already standing up. Who in the blue hell are you? If a woman wasn't there for you at your worst, she doesn't deserve you at your best. And that is exactly why you signed a prenup, because never marry a woman when you're already successful.
Yeah, round of applause for this guy. I'm super happy there's actually someone cleaning the streets. How many guys do you think he has in 2023? Oh my god. Probably like 250? 250 dudes. That's a lot of dudes. That's more than most women will have for in their whole life. Well, most women need to have more I completely agree. Clips like these sadly don't surprise me anymore. This girl is in the industry. What do you expect her body count to be? We all know she's never going to get married and will probably die single and lonely. I was singing before I pick your mom up or we pick your mom up later. Can you give me round head real quick? Uh, babe, what? I already picked her up. Hi, Kendra. I think you figured out why it's so small down there. Why? What do you mean, why? No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, why? Do you have something to tell me? You, no. You ask me something. Now, if you guys got a girlfriend, please try this trend out. I'm generally curious how this all goes for you guys. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Bear. Man is scary. Um, with a bear. Well, I've heard about bears. They don't always attack you, right? Unless you, like, f*** with them. So maybe a bear. <laughs> What would you do with a brain if you had one? Prob depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but definitely a bear. Now women will say this and don't realize when they need help the most, they usually rely on men. When your house is burning down, who are you calling? Firefighters who are majority men. When you're getting robbed, who are you calling? Police who are majority men. Like, who are you guys lying to? Where, where are you from? Northeast Philly. Do you suck dick? Duh. Do you want a threesome? Dumb question, obviously. Do you um, want a threesome? Yeah. What's up? She said, obviously, girl. Hold on, would you let five niggas run a train with you? Huh, maybe. You gotta, you gotta let me know who the niggas are. Then... Whoa! <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if you guys realize this is actually on Instagram Live, and the fact that they're exposing themselves like this on Instagram Live is insane. This is nothing to be proud about. I said this last time, we should bring shame culture back. These women should be ashamed for what they are saying. Not proud. When did this ever happen? Neighbor bought his wife an Alfa Romeo Julia, and she still cheated on him with an airline mechanic who rode a Harley. It's a nice Italian sexy car. It's not a big car. A guy like me would not fit in that comfortably, but it's a nice looking car. So he buys her this car gives her this car to please her, and she still cheats on him with the airline mechanic. What usually ends up happening is these women that have the higher demands for the high value guys that are smarter than them, that are taller than them, that are masculine and not betas, they don't always find them, and they end up settling for just okay or just good enough, and then they go and do this. They buy the Alfa Romeo Julia, which is probably about a sixty or $70,000 car here, and they still cheat on their husband with the dude that's an airline mechanic that rides a Harley. Guys, if you ever, ever decide to march into the slaughterhouse of marriage, always make sure that you are her first choice never be her second or third choice and this usually ends up happening when your wife is a gold digger and there's a bunch of red flags and signs that you can detect that your wife is a gold digger if she was only into you for your money initially and you never saw her really attracted to you then obviously she's going to cheat on you sometimes rich men really think they can keep a woman just by their money sorry but you can't i'm really upset because literally this man just brought me on a date and he's not paying for anything sir sir you don't have to go to police sir Oh my god, they about to call the police on me right now. You was supposed to be paying for this and you're mad because I'm not what? You're not sucking OD. What do you mean? This is a date, sir. No. For, I'm not paying for nothing sir, if you ain't sucking OD. Okay, I could give you my ID and I can come back tomorrow and pay for everything. I don't know what this nigga is. I'm sorry. We have a policy here. You know, okay. He brought me on a day. Okay. Put your hand down. Put your, uh, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Well, listen, put your hand down. You quit talking to me. No. Quit talking to me because. You need to make every inch disappear or this bill is not going to disappear. Are you fucking dumb? Do you think you a rapper? I got to be sucking on your dick. You got me fucked up and I'm taking this to court. Now this is easily one of the most insane clips I have seen from a date. This girl is also recording this saying she's going to sue him later on, which doesn't make really any sense. You're not paying your meal, so this guy doesn't have to pay for it, to be honest. But what I really don't like is how this guy wants something from her. And that's why he's going on a date with her in the first place. I always say, if you guys want action, there are easier and faster places to do so. You don't got to take a girl on a date and wait 
waste each other's times, to be honest. But regardless, the date should have been 50 50 in the first place. Let me know your thoughts about this clip down below, guys. And that does wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.